all right guys in this um, video tutorial you will learn um, about um, you know gradle files uh, within android android studio so um, first um, i will tell you some uh, project levels um, uh, that um, uh, exist within your um, you know android studio project um, or within your android studio id basically there are uh, three levels the first one is uh, named as project level the second one is as module level which is your app you know then the third level is your source set level though as you can see i'm gonna tell you about something so as you can see the project level contains your means your parent directory of your android studio project as you i'm just switching to the project structure this at toast uh, you know android studio project is your project level so as you can see it contains all the levels um, within that project level as you can see in gray color so let's talk about module level module level is a sub level of the project level which contains the app directory which can as you know the app contains the build you know uh, build files libraries source and build out gradle file and so on so app is your app directory is your uh, module level which is which is your application so the third one is your source set as you can see in the blue color it contains you know the java files resource uh, files and android manifest.xml file so so as you can uh, let's take an example i'm gonna uh, hit app as you can see uh, source and main this is this main directory is your source level so these are the three basic levels of your android project android studio project structure so so what's our main focus our main focus is gradle files what are these files and how we can use uh, it so so basically when uh, someone asks me about what gradle is within the android studio so i will answer in you know in some uh, you know concise you know i will answer in some concise words and that is gradle is a built system within the android studio ide so if someone if uh, that person um, you know um, request me that have uh, please describe um, that uh, you know build a system um, which is known as gradle so um, i'll just um, start from uh, the uh, from the back, from the beginning which is uh, might you have uh, used or you had used in the in the past uh, which is known as eclipse ide so before android studio you were using eclipse for your development purposes and chances are you didn't know how to build your android apk without eclipse that means if you know, there is uh, no mechanism behind you know the uh, ide um, that um, uh, generates your apk or that generated your apk so you don't know how to generate the apk so what the manual uh, you know process to generate a big you can do this on the command line but you have to learn some tools like dx and aapt does that which which are basically attached in the stk now or you can uh, say which were attached in the uh, eclipse stk so that you know mechanism or that command line mechanism um, uh, attached within the android uh, sorry eclipse sdk saved us from um, all from these low level but important fundamental details by giving us their own build system so now you have ever wondered why the resource folder is in the same directory as your source folder so uh, you might have used used you know uh, uh, eclipse ide so uh, just go back uh, somewhat some time you know uh, a little bit you know maybe almost one to one to uh, you know two years uh, back you, you will you uh, mostly created a new project in, in within the eclipse ide there are two directories within the same directory 
which is uh, which are source and resource directories so these these two directories where the pictures you know the build system enters the picture the build system automatically takes all the resource files like java files and xml files and then applies you know the appropriate tool on these files and groups them all uh, into one compressed file which is known as android application package uh, mostly called as apk for the android platform so this build system uses some conventions for example um, uh, one is to uh, specify the directory containing the source files or resource files so now in order to automate um, all these tasks um, there has to be a script you can write um, your own build system using shell scripting so we will talk in you know in our uh, upcoming video uh, sections um, that how you can automate your uh, task that um, you can uh, automatically generate uh, apk um, you know automatically generate different apks for different uh, screen densities and so on so so let's uh, talk about a gradle uh, build system in detail so gradle is another build system that takes the best features from other build systems and combines them into one it is improved based of their surroundings or you know of their shortcomings so it is a java virtual based um, you know build system what that means is that you can write your own script in java and automate your tasks so one cool thing about gradle is that it is a plugin based uh, system so you don't need to you know change every time just you know generate a script and it will automatically you know generate or automate your task every time so the question arises is why did google use it because there simply you can generate your apks so it doesn't matter that you know used in your project or within your ide so google saw one of the most advanced build system on the market and realized that you could write your own scripts so without learning any language or any new language so um, you might have seen some gradle files we will talk about um, in detail so uh, you can you can see there are two build.gradle files in the top level and in your module level so when will, i will switch to the you know android structure as you can see this is showing our module level and you know source set level so our module level you know contains uh, you know just um, uh, one uh, build.gradle file the other one the build.gradle file is for you know project level so what's the purpose of these uh, you know um, uh, gradle files mm, there is a third um, settings.gradle files also exist within your uh, you know project level directory but um, the first but we will first uh, talk about um, our project and module level uh, you know gradle files mm, so um, let's just talk about build.gradle files which is our module level gradle files there are multiple you know tags within uh, the you know module level uh, gradle files so as you can see there are a lot of uh, you know uh, aspects used in our module level um, build.gradle files so what's uh, the purpose of uh, this module level build.gradle file so this um, module level uh, build.gradle file exists basically in your project module directory so this uh, module level uh, gradle uh, file allows you to configure build settings for the specific module not all the modules uh, you know uh, within your project just uh, for one module where, uh, within uh, within that module or within the current module you can uh, you know configure the build settings so configuring these build settings allows you to provide custom uh, packaging options uh, such as additional build types and pro product flavors and so on we will talk about some you know parameters or some aspects of uh, the gradle files so basically you know 
some uh, parameters or aspects are almost all already there so let's let's take an example build types so it's one of you know uh, aspect of uh, the build out gradle files so build types build types is basically of two kinds the release and the second one is debug so and the second one is uh, product flavors build variants manifest entries dependencies signing pro guard uh, multiple apk supports and so on so the uh, uh, i will tell you there's some you know important information about these uh, files uh, first the build dot uh, gradle file which is a module uh, level um, you know file it contain, um, contains basically dependencies of a particular module you know of a particular uh, module of an android studio project as you can see i have just compiled some you know libraries uh, and uh, I have just um, build type set to release. You can also set to um, you know uh, uh, generate uh, you know uh, automate your task um, by signing uh, by using uh, you know um, signing param aspects uh, within your build dot uh, gradle files module level. So the second one is project level files. So what's the purpose of the project level build out gradle file? Basically, it is also known as a top level build file. So the top level or the project level build out gradle file located in your root project directory. So defines build configuration that apply to all modules in your project. By default, the top level build file uses the build script. As you can see, the aspect I'm using within our by default, it is you know generated by the Android Studio IDE, which is a build script. So what's the purpose of that build script aspect it define the gradle repositories and dependencies that are all that are common to all modules in the project so let's uh, you know summarize it the uh, top level build or gradle file defines build config uh, configurations that apply to all modules simple so as you can see there is another gradle file which is called settings dot gradle file which is your you know can you can uh, you know just uh, uh called is it has a settings dot um, you know some kind of settings uh, you know uh, in the gradle file so so what's the purpose of settings dot gradle file it's uh, you know uh, it tells the gradle you know which modules it should include when building your application so let's suppose i'm just uh, uh, i just want to add some another module within our within this uh, toast uh, current app um, um, you know application so um, I, I will use uh, this um, this include our settings dot gradle file to include that module within my application like this uh, let's suppose i'm just using android um, wi-fi module within my um, you know this uh, you know my project uh, directory so i just use that include tag and my um, you know another module within this application so um, I, um, this is the tag when you will whenever you change uh, you know the gradle files you have to sync it yes, because that you know, the gradle build system automatically you know allocate every resource uh, to the uh, particular uh, or its concerning um, objects uh, within the um, uh, application so at last, at last, I just want to tell you about uh, something um, that how um, that build system uh, generate um, or um, how Android Studio um, uh, within the Android Studio how you can you can generate or what is the what is the mechanism behind um, generating uh, an APK. So um, I'm just um, uh, using that um, official website of uh, Android um, development. So as you can see there is basically um, uh, there are two um, levels or two packages uh, you know that uh, build system combines together or compiler um, compiler used you know, these two packages uh, together which is application module which is our app and the second is dependencies which are libraries or other jar files which you have um, attached within your application so as you can see in the source code resource files 
uh, and a ADL files interface you know files then on the second hand the library modules AAR files and jar file libraries and so on so our compiler or Android as Android Studio ID uses or Android Studio ID compilers um, uh, used these two modules and you know compile them and converted it to, into a DEX file uh, which is a binary file so that a DEX file is converted into compiled resources so uh, whenever you or if you have any if you have experience uh, of uh, generating a signed APK you, you have just uh, you just might just you, you might use uh, debug or key uh, release key store so when that key store uh, combined with your compiled resources it will generate android um, application package which is known as android um, apk so um, as you can see it's a debug or release apk so there are two basically types of apks which is um, first is um, you know debug apk which cannot be accepted by you know Google Play Store because it needs some signature to recognize so the second one is release APK which is accepted by the Google Play Store so whenever you create or generate that you know the signed APK you can upload it to them or make it or make it live to Google Play Store so um, so go ahead and back to the uh, you know our um, uh, project structure as you can see I have synced it uh, synced it uh, settings dot from the Gradle files um, so um, uh, a lot of information you know now there's even the compiled SDK versions built tools a lot of aspects are there uh, within the um, you know uh, build out Gradle files so um, you can uh, learn those aspects from uh, you know the official website of uh, developer.android.com so every detail is um, within their um, you know official uh, website so um, I hope you get the ideas uh, why uh, these uh, you the files you are using or the android studio id using and what is built or gradle um, you know build system as or what's the basic purpose of that build or gradle and the build system so i hope you get the idea of of these files so good luck for that goodbye